everybody, Tula here with Key Wellness, and today we are going to continue with video four in our series of When the Student is Ready, the Teacher Will Appear. Today we're going to dive into the quantum field. Now we're really beginning to get into the nitty gritty because the whole purpose of this video series is to teach someone just entering into this path how it is they can manifest and understanding the science behind manifestation. And it all happens, it all begins in the quantum field. So we are finally moving into understanding where it is that you create the future, the vision that you have for your life or any facet of your life. It all is created in the quantum field. So today we're going to learn and explore the quantum field. So what is the quantum field? Well, the quantum field is not a physical place. It's not a location. It's not even a physical thing in many sense of the word, because we've already talked about how everything is energy. And with energy, as with anything else, we have the smallest packet and those smallest packets of anything in existence are called the quanta. When you break something down to its smallest component, that is the quanta, or those are the quanta, or a quantum of that particular thing. So the quantum field is simply a field comprised of quanta, or the field within which quanta reside. Now let me clarify that before I go on. As I explained in an earlier video in this series, the smallest packet of light energy is a photon. So a photon would be an example of quantum light or light quantized. So photons are the quanta of light energy. I also said that there were various types of energy. And so everything is energy and everything has its separate quanta. So when you get down to the smallest component of anything in existence, which again is also energy, you will get to its unique quanta. So the quantum field is made up of the quanta which make up everything in existence. But it doesn't end there. This is where it starts to get really interesting. So follow me here. The quantum field is where the quanta of all energy, all types, exists. And everything is energy. That means that everything that exists, exists in the quantum field. It comes from the quantum field because that is where the energy from which everything in existence comes and it comes from those quanta. Not only that, energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be converted. So that means all the energy that ever will exist and all the energy that ever did exist reside as quanta in the quantum field. That means anything that ever existed and anything that ever could or will exist resides in the quantum field as quanta. I want you to take a moment and think about the significance of what I just said. Let me give you the flip side to this to help you grasp the gravity of this concept. Nothing can, will, or ever did exist that is not currently residing as quanta in the quantum field. Now we'll get into exactly what that means for you and how that's explained in physics. Anything that exists in the world today originated, descended, or emerged from the quantum field. Anything that will come into existence will likewise emerge from the quantum field. Anything in existence begins as quanta in the quantum field. Quanta, again, is the basic or most fundamental packet of any form of energy. So, in other words, anything that will ever exist 
in this world, this 3D tangible world within which we exist, currently exists in the quantum field as quanta, which is the most fundamental packet of energy in existence. So it's there. It's in the form of energy. That energy is in its most basic form, quanta. And from that quanta will emerge whatever resides in your future. So where am I going with this? In order to manifest something, you must access the quantum field and cause that quanta to emerge from the field in the form of whatever it is you're manifesting. And this is exactly why to this point, I have been walking you through an understanding of energy because once more, I will reiterate that anything in existence is purely energy emerging from the quantum field. So if you want something to emerge from the field, from that energy, the quanta of that energy to be converted into what it is you desire, you must understand that the seed for what you wish to manifest resides in the quantum field. It resides as the smallest packet of energy. It is energy which cannot be created or destroyed, but only converted. And therefore, as Tesla said, if you want to understand the secrets of the universe, Think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. And now we are about to explore those very secrets of the universe. Now, before I go ahead, I want to reiterate a couple of very important things. First of all, to fully understand what we're going to be discussing, if you have not watched the prior videos in which I laid the foundation you should go back and watch those or you will be lost and you may miss an important step. So please make sure that you are well versed in what I covered about energy and frequency in the previous videos. And then secondly, I also talked about limiting beliefs. We have a lot of limiting beliefs that while it will not affect the physics of what we are discussing here, it will affect your ability to use those physics in your favor. What do I mean by this? Let's just take someone, let's, let's take the eight minute mile. For the longest time, science told us that it was physically impossible for a human being to break the eight minute mile. So therefore, no one ever did it because everyone had the limiting belief that it was physically impossible. One year then, somebody at the Olympics did break the eight-minute mile. And then after that, everybody did it. What happened? The limiting belief, the line in the sand that was drawn, was erased. And as soon as people realized that this was not, in fact, a physical limitation, they then freed their minds to be able to physically complete the feat. And this is true throughout history with all sorts of things. The placebo effect is the same thing in the opposite. You can give someone a placebo, they will have the healing effects. Why? Because in their mind, they believed they were getting a medicine to treat something when in fact, they might have merely been getting a sugar cube or a sugar tablet. But through the placebo effect, the power of the mind is what caused them to experience the healing. One of the major limiting beliefs is that of being trapped in a paradigm that mandates that what you experience through your five senses is the sum total of reality. In other words, if you remain trapped in the paradigm that insists that what you experience through your five senses is everything that there is to the universe. You will not be able to access this ability because you will not be able to wrap your mind around it. And therefore, you will never be able to put yourself 
in the position to be able to manipulate the energy around you to work in the direction that you want it to work. So first, you must break out of the paradigm that what we experience through our limiting five senses is the sum total of reality. Realize now that we are far more than our physical bodies. We are actually not spirit trapped in bodies, but spirit that has enveloped body. And so therefore, you are actually greater than your body. You actually have a spiritual energetic body that encases your physical body and uses your physical body to function within this 3D world. But there is so much more beyond it, as I covered in the other videos, that you cannot access through your five senses. That does not mean you cannot access it at all. It simply means you have got to learn how to access it through other abilities which you have, which are innate in you as a human being, and that is part of manifesting. But in order to do that, you first needed to understand about energy, about the quantum field, and the fact that everything is energy, including you. And you must begin to view yourself as an energetic body outside of the physical body. In fact, your energetic body, which resides outside of your physical body, has multiple layers. Each one that does something different, that is beyond the scope of this particular video, but it is important for you to embrace the knowledge that you are not limited to the physical body and you are not a spirit trapped within a physical body, but rather you are energetic, some refer to it as spirit, that has encapsulated a physical body within which to experience this dimension of existence within which we are living right now. So to sum it up, you are an energetic entity or being that exists within an energetic field and you are energetically equipped, therefore, to interact with and manipulate the field around you in order to create the reality that you want. Your energetic body encapsulates and functions within the 3D world through the physical body that it houses in the same way that the quantum field, which is also energetic, encapsulates, holds, and then can project into this physical reality whatever it is you want it to do. Now that might sound foreign, but it is really no different than taking your hands and saying, I want that cup, and you take your hand and you grasp the cup, and you pick it up. You do that, you don't think anything of it. Maybe as a, a toddler, that was a difficult feat. You had to learn how to do it. You didn't have the dexterity. But the more you did it, the more dexterous you became, and the simpler it was to perform until you could do it without thinking. Your energetic capacities are no different. You have these abilities, every human being has these abilities, but you have never been taught how to use them. You hadn't even been made aware of the energetic environment within which you live. So how could you possibly see a value in your energetic abilities, let alone how to use them? There was no way, place, or time for these skills. But now that you find yourself in a place in your life where you are experiencing impoverishment, either financially, physically, mentally, emotionally, relationally, whatever it is, there's something lacking in your life. And when you're imprisoned through the thought process, the paradigm that says you're purely physical, and if you cannot force it, through the physical realm, well, you're stuck. But that's not true. And manifesting is all about being able to go beyond 
the physical realm and to change things before it projects down into this physical realm while it is still in the quantum and then causing it to project into this physical reality in the manner that you would like to see it happen. So the question I'm sure that's on your mind at this moment is, okay, great, how? Well, let me finish up this video by talking a little bit about frequency. And in the next video, we will get into the nuts and bolts and the practical application. So a few points on frequency, because as we know, everything is energy and we need to be thinking in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. So if you are at one frequency and you want something that is potentially at a different frequency, you will need to know something about the alignment of frequencies in order to affect the quanta that are in the quantum field. So what happens when two frequencies align? Let's take sound. When sound frequencies align, they can interfere with each other. And this can happen in a number of ways. First of all, there's resonance. When the frequencies of vibrating objects are matching, the amplitude of the vibrations increase. Then there's beats. You'll have two sound waves that are close to the same frequency, but just a little bit different. And the wave that results from the points of the constructive and destructive interference, which I will explain next, results in a sound wave with a volume that varies at a regular rate. So this can come across like a pulse or a flutter. And this is kind of like what happens with binaural beats, or this happens to me a lot when I have windows open. Ever driving your car when you have maybe two back windows open and you hear this vibration or fluttering in your ears. That is because you have the wind coming in to slightly different vibrations and the difference between those where they are not aligned is creating this flutter effect that you hear. Then there's destructive interference. So remember, we studied waves and they have a peak and a trough. When the peaks line up to the troughs and vice versa, they cancel each other out. And this results in a decrease of amplitude and quietness. So noise canceling headphones work this way. So imagine two frequencies, the peak and the trough are lining up with each other then you'll get a cancellation of the sound altogether. And finally, there is constructive interference. And this is when two sound waves are at the same frequency and the amplitude lines up. Their peaks and their troughs align. And the result is a wave with double the amplitude of the original waves. This means the sound will be twice as loud. So the whole is greater than the sum of its parts when you have aligning frequencies. And this, my friend, is what is so powerful and how you, as Tesla advised, can learn the secrets of the universe by coming to understand energy, frequency, and vibration. And we will cover that in the next video. This is Tula. Wishing you a wonderful day and we'll talk to you soon.